Hey guys, it's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Today we have something special for you guys. We are going to be doing the Shopify developer roadmap. Okay, so stay tuned if you're planning on learning Shopify development for 2022. This is going to cover everything. Let's get started. All right, guys, so we're going to basically split this up into two sections. One is going to be for the front end and another one's going to be full stack. Okay. Meaning that, you know, the front end and also know the back end. So let's get started. we got Shopify developer roadmap front end. Okay. We're going to start with the front end. The easiest thing, Shopify theme developer. This is the road that you can go on. You need to know HTML, CSS, and what we used to call PSD to HTML. Pretty much is like, if we give you a design, you need to be able to build it exactly how it looks on the design. Okay. Pretty simple JavaScript jQuery. And this is for legacy themes that might be out there. So if you get hired at a company and you need to work with jQuery, guess what? You got to work with jQuery. Okay. It is what it is from there. You have to go in and learn about uh, JavaScript framework. It could be react or view. One thing that I've been noticing a lot is that a lot of companies are deciding to go with view because view is easier to work with as far as like you know you don't even have to go in and use webpack or anything you could just pretty much use like a cdn just like jquery so people are used to that so they like it okay all the backing guys this is why they enjoy vue.js they don't have to go to the webpack and the whole build okay the next thing that you have is shopify platform you need to understand how the shopify platform works to be able to be a good shopify theme developer okay uh you need to know how to work with the shopify apis you know you got the storefront API. You have a whole bunch of other ones that that's in there. You need to be comfortable with that because that's how you're going to be able to communicate with Shopify when you're creating your themes. And it's going to be all done through Ajax, you know, or Axios requests, etc. Okay. You also have liquid, which is the templating language for uh, Shopify themes. So you need to learn how to work with a templated language and specifically with liquid. Okay. You also need to know how to use GraphQL and just enough for you to query the data. So when you're doing requests to Shopify and say, okay, what are the top selling products? And you want to get that data back. You need to know how to actually query that with GraphQL. Okay. Um, you can be getting up to $80,000 just starting to become a Shopify theme developer and also to up to $160,000 you know, uh, as you become well, more knowledgeable and you have more experience. Now, of course, you can also make way more money if you are your own uh, developer, like in the sense of like you're creating your own digital products and you're selling them yourself. OK, because now you're not just working for one company. You're creating themes that you can sell to hundreds, if not thousands of companies um, per year. So that's something that to keep in mind. Okay. The next one that we have right here, Shopify plus. Okay. Now having knowledge of Shopify plus can definitely give you an extra boost, you know, extra 10, $20,000 on whatever you might have. Um, I'm not going to go and list everything that you need for a Shopify theme developer uh, on the Shopify plus, but just know that basically if you are going to be a Shopify plus developer, you need to have the knowledge of being a Shopify theme developer. Okay. Uh, Shopify platform. You need to know liquid. You need to know Shopify plus apps, right? Uh, script editor. So you also need to learn Ruby, just the basics. You don't need to be a master of it, right? But you need to know how to use Ruby for the script editor. And this is pretty much to create you know, certain scripts that are going to be customized for the checkout, right? For the cart system, etc. Okay. You also have the Shopify Hella CMS storefront API. Okay. Understanding how that works. A lot of companies that you're going to see that's using Shopify plus they're going that route instead of hosting their websites through Shopify, they're using Shopify as a Hella CMS. Now, the next thing that I will say that you got to learn is definitely a framework like either hydrogen, right? Or you want to learn how to use Next.js to be able to create the storefronts uh, to be able to communicate with Shopify and use it as a hella CMS, which just makes your life so much easier. And a lot of companies are going this route. So you want to have those skills. Okay. Now, again, I'm mentioning GraphQL here, even though I mentioned it before, but it's a given. If you don't know GraphQL, you don't know how to query the data, right? Um, it's going to be very difficult for you. Okay. It just, it is what it is. Okay. Now, how much money can you make out of this? Well, basically you could get a hundred thousand to 160,000, right? As you can see here, you could get started as a Shopify theme developer, get 80,000, but 
guess what? If you do know Shopify Plus development, right? You pretty much could get that extra bump of twenty thousand and whatever it is. You might be getting paid a hundred thousand before, but now that you know how to work with Shopify Plus apps, um, or basically Shopify Plus the platform, you could get an extra twenty thousand dollars on on your pay. Okay. Now the next one we have here is the full stack. This is where it starts getting a little bit complicated in the sense of you need to know everything. Again, you need to know everything about the front end, right? And you need to basically now also know about the back end and how to set up full stack applications because most people think that you're actually hosting your applications within Shopify, but that's not really the case. You basically have a full stack application on a separate server, and then now you're embedding the application through an iframe within Shopify's platform and communicating with Shopify's platform through APIs. It's a little weird, but hey, it is what it is. Is the web okay so let's get started with this shopify app developer back-end language you could do this with node.js php python it doesn't matter you decide what you want to choose right i will definitely say node.js and php are the best options just because there's a lot of tools that's out there open source that is basically gonna speed up your whole process if you go with python guess what you're gonna have to build everything from scratch if you decide to go with java guess what you're gonna have to build everything from scratch you're basically going on the deep end by yourself but when you go with node.js and php there's tools that everybody else is using and guess what you get to benefit from that now from there of course you need to understand the whole process of full stack development if you have no idea on how to create a full stack application this is not for you right now okay the next one that we have right here is embedded applications understanding the process of how you're going to be able to communicate with shopify right and all of this is is part of the whole development right but i wanted to add it there and emphasize that embedded apps this is the way to go okay react right which is the framework for the front end that most companies use and also to uh, shopify is actually pushing for you to use because they have different components like the ones for polaris which allows you to have the same view and the same look as if it was a native application within shopify this is what they use so you're basically getting their components so your application feels like it was inside of shopify okay the next thing that we have here is something that's new which is app blocks understanding how to create your applications and using the app block extensions and things like that is very important understanding how app billing works uh super important are you going to be charging recurring payments you know ten dollars a month fifteen dollars a month fifty dollars a month are you going to be charging a single payment or uh, you know five dollars for uh installing the application are you going to be charging per usage right how many requests they're getting or whatever it might be whatever your application uh, might be going for okay so understanding app billing is super important another thing is the shopify pos yes you can go in and create a shopify application and actually have it on a pos system okay so think of it like this shopify is for the web but also too they have their own uh, pos uh machines in in different stores so there's companies that you know they say i got a boutique i sell on shopify's website right but i also want to use your pos system and guess what you can create an application for those type of uh companies right um also too you want to learn how to work with webhooks i know this is kind of weird but i'm not everybody knows how to work with webhooks and and, and you know communicating back and forth between different servers i think there's something that is very important for people to know about um also too again graphql you want to learn how to use graphql because that's how you're going to be querying um the apis or uh, from shopify and of course the most important thing about this okay especially if you are not working for a company because you could work for a company full time and be a shopify app developer creating uh app you know apps for that company in-house right it could be a private app but if you are going to be creating your own apps to sell your own service or you know provide whatever service you want to do on your own and be like an indie developer guess what without marketing everything that you see here is useless it doesn't matter how good your app is it doesn't matter how efficient it is how optimized it is how much work you put in if you don't know how to actually uh, get it in front of the, the, the customers, the people that's going to go in and install your application, all of this is a waste of time. 
straight up. I'm just being 100% honest. You could literally be somebody creating apps and no one knows that your apps exist and you got maybe one or two reviews per year. And guess what? That was a waste of time. So understanding marketing, understanding how to uh, get emails, how to go in and promote it, maybe run some ads, right? Um, how to use social media to get, you know, some traction for your application. Like this is important without marketing. This is useless. Okay. Now you can make of a hundred K to 1 million plus and beyond. Okay. I'm putting <laughs> this numbers here, but this numbers really don't mean anything when it comes to Shopify app development, because you could come in and say, I'm doing a Shopify app on the side and I make an extra $50,000 a year. That's nice. Maybe you just want some side income. But if you go in and you take it seriously and you build a company around your application, guess what? Sky's the, the limit. Like we just seen, I think Clavio, I think got like a, a billion dollars, right? And those are companies that started as Shopify apps. So again, sky's the uh, sky's the limit okay there's literally companies going to uh was it y combinator yc combinator whatever you see them on tech crunch and, and they're creating shopify apps not even software as a service for every single platform just for shopify and they're getting funding because shopify development is it's where it's at okay um now the next thing that i want to put in here is guess what with all those skills that you learn as a Shopify theme developer, Shopify app developer, right? You can also take this route at the end, which is Shopify software engineer and actually work for the company. For those of you guys that don't know, right now Shopify is running ads. They're basically promoting all over the place. Like, hey, we have jobs and we are hiring, okay? So what are the skills that you need? HTML, CSS, JavaScript, you know, they're focusing on TypeScript, uh, React, GraphQL, Apollo, Ruby on Rails, because yes, the whole platform of Shopify is built on top of Ruby on Rails. Now, of course, they tweaked it. They've made it a little bit better. They've added a lot of cool things to it, right? But at its core is Ruby on Rails. So you need to know Ruby on Rails for this. And yeah, man, and of course, this part experience. Okay. You're not getting a job at, at Shopify, <laughs> the company by just showing up and be like, Hey guys, I'm a nice guy, right? It's not going to happen. My guy, you got to have experience. You got to show that you have done this. And this is why I say, you know what? Let's say you go in and do a year as a Shopify theme developer. Let's say you do a year as a Shopify plus developer, right? Uh, Shopify app developer, etc. Like now you could go in and say, you know what? I want to go in and, and work with Shopify. You can actually do that. And that's also part of your roadmap. Okay. So yeah, guys, if you like this content, please make sure you show some love, make sure you like this video. And I will say, guys, come check out codingphase.com because everything that I'm talking about here, we actually teach it at codingphase.com. Everything. Like literally everything that we talked about, we teach at codingphase.com. If you come over here and check out the career paths, you can look at Shopify theme developer, right? We have everything in order, you know, from top to bottom, everything that you need. And we teach you everything in there so you can succeed as a Shopify developer. Same thing as Shopify app developer, right? You can come in. And, and pretty much learn everything that you need as far as, you know, Shopify development. Like we give you Koa, which is something that uh, they promote on Shopify. We give you PHP and Laravel if you want to go in and create it with PHP. Uh, Shopify app development with Node.js. Master, uh, Master Shopify app development course with Node.js. And here we're using uh, Prisma, right? So it's like two ways of doing uh, applications, right? This is the using the latest version, which is the Shopify CLI way of creating applications. Okay, advanced Shopify app development with PHP and Laravel, right? And from there, of course, Google Analytics and, and Facebook and Google Ads marketing because you need those things. If you have no knowledge of how to look at data, right? How to actually make sure that you promote your products, it's useless, right? Like it doesn't matter if you have the skills, you could be the best guy, but if you don't know how to promote it and get it out there, uh, it's a waste of time. Okay. So, anyways, guys. Thank you for coming through, man. I really appreciate it, guys. I really enjoyed doing this video. For those of you guys that don't know or are new to this channel, I'm super passionate about Shopify because there's a bag. Like, I enjoy helping business owners, right? But then at the same time, the fact that I'm dealing with business owners, I'm not have to, like, I don't have to worry about my check. 
you know, there's a bag at the end of the, the, the tunnel. You get what I'm saying? At the end of the rainbow, there's a bag waiting for you right now. So if you're looking to become a developer, you got to come to Coding Phase and you definitely want to focus on things like this, like Shopify development, because not everybody's talking about it and not everybody's going this route. Okay. And that means there's more opportunities for you and me. Okay. So I'll see you guys later. It's your boy Joe back at it again, codingphase.com. Peace.